In a world where energy drinks were a dime a dozen, Red Bull soared above the competition. With its iconic logo and unforgettable slogan, Red Bull gives you wings, the brand captured the hearts and wallets of consumers worldwide. But how did Red Bull achieve such remarkable success in a cutthroat industry? What was the secret to their longevity and dominance? In this video, we'll reveal the hidden tactics and strategies that Red Bull used to keep its wings soaring high. From creating a lifestyle brand to hosting extreme sports events, we'll explore the secrets behind Red Bull's success and give you a glimpse into the wild world of this iconic brand. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. The answer to Red Bull's success lies in its plan to create a lifestyle brand and marketing strategy. They understood that selling drinks alone would not be enough to sustain their business in the long run. Instead, they focused on building a community around their brand, a community of thrill seekers, adventurers and extreme sports enthusiasts. By doing so, they were able to create a sense of exclusivity and belonging that drew in consumers and kept them coming back for more. Red Bull's plan worked like a charm. In 2019, the brand achieved record annual sales of 7.5 billion with a significant increase in developing nations like Brazil, India and Africa. But Red Bull's success was not just due to clever marketing. They had also managed to create a loyal community of fans who were willing to pay a premium to be part of it. Red Bull's events, such as the Red Bull Air Race and the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, drew in thousands of spectators and participants from around the globe, all eager to experience the rush of adrenaline that Red Bull promised. So, what was Red Bull's secret money-making scheme? It was simple. They created a brand that people wanted to be a part of. By tapping into the desires and passions of their target audience, they were able to create a sense of loyalty and exclusivity that kept consumers coming back for more. It was a brilliant strategy that propelled Red Bull to the top of its game and made it one of the most successful businesses in the world. It was also a scheme that had kept the company going for years. Red Bull marketed their drink as an energy booster that could help people stay awake, focused and energised for hours on end. It's no secret that some workers put in excruciatingly long hours when under pressure. Work may continue well into the night and perhaps well into the morning for interns, analysts and colleagues. They frequently turn to Red Bull as a crutch to get through the day and enhance their energy. The history of the well-known energy drink Red Bull began in 1984 when Austrian businessman Dietrich Mateschitz visited Thailand and learned about an energising tonic developed by Charlie Yuyidia. Drinkers were meant to be kept awake and attentive by the tonic. They collaborated to export the beverage to Europe after seeing its business potential. As they say, the rest is history. Creativity, sincerity and the willingness to violate convention are necessary to create an iconic brand that is resistant to pandemics and global recessions. Red Bull started off with an unusual strategy. Red Bull was a pioneer in the field of energy drinks as opposed to trying to succeed in the soft drink market. Unlike many well-known companies that place their bets on mass media, they built a narrative, and each of their decisions served as a piece of the puzzle that made up a bigger picture. Red Bull is a shining example of how to evolve your marketing strategy while keeping the focus and mission of your brand. Red Bull has developed an unrivaled content marketing strategy centered on extreme sports, user-generated content, and influencer marketing. The company recently introduced a new line of organic sodas, three of which included only natural ingredients and zero caffeine. A startling departure from the extremely high caffeine concentration, vivid red colour and artificial flavour of their previous offerings. Red Bull's marketing approach has changed throughout the years, but it has remained unorthodox and distinctive focusing on original content, extreme sports partnerships and events. Now, their strategy is based on five main pillars. Influencer marketing, user-generated content, publicity stunts and even sponsorship. Red Bull is a perfect illustration of how businesses can use content marketing to establish themselves as household names. It's understandable why some people mistakenly think of them as an energy drink manufacturer. With 9 million YouTube subscribers, over 13 million Instagram followers, 48 million Facebook likes and 2 million Twitter followers, their social media game is on point. In addition, media professionals can access the Red Bull content pool, where they can obtain news, exclusive interviews, more than 300,000 high-quality photographs, 
and more than 22,000 HD videos they can use freely for news and editorial purposes. Red Bull's catchphrase, Red Bull gives you wings, conveys the concept that nothing is impossibly difficult. What better approach to demonstrate to customers that they genuinely believe this than to support and organize events that test the boundaries? In 2012, Felix Baumgartner and Red Bull Stratos mission broke a record that had stood for 50 years as Baumgartner descended to Earth from a helium balloon in the stratosphere. The 4 minutes and 20 second supersonic freefall from 128,000 feet was captured on camera and the video has nearly 46 million viewers. In keeping with their focus on the extreme, Red Bull is also well known for some of the most incredible daredevil feats in history, including the Red Bull Act Planet 2, Robbie Madison's 2008 New Year's Eve leap, and wingsuit jumping. Red Bull has been a major supporter of extreme sports over the past 30 years, giving them the media attention they frequently lacked. By doing this, the company was able to engage with thrill seekers and simultaneously reach their intended market. In addition to sponsorships, Red Bull made significant investments in holding their own events to build buzz and increase brand recognition. All of their competitions, like the Soapbox Race, the Ice Cross Championship and the Air Race, are centered on certain sports, but they all share the trait of being jam-packed with thrill and action. Extreme sports like kite surfing, skydiving, snowboarding and cliff diving are just a few of the many things Red Bull uses as a central part of its content strategy. However, these aren't one-offs. All the pictures and videos they take during these occasions assist them in producing unrivaled, consistent social media content that their audience adores and enjoys. In the NASCAR and Formula One realms, Red Bull Racing debuted formally. Sebastian Vettel gave the Red Bull team its first Formula One victory in 2009 by doing so. Red Bull gained notoriety for heavily funding and sponsoring sports. Red Bull owns football clubs in New York, Leipzig and Salzburg in addition to regularly sponsoring extreme sporting events. It also has ice hockey teams in Munich and Salzburg. Stimulating user-generated content is another element of Red Bull's marketing plan. Customers are encouraged by the brand to contribute content, which provides them with an unending supply of real content they can utilize on social media. Red Bull develops various competitions in addition to social media hashtags to entice customers to join. For instance, the Red Bull Illum Special Picture Quest 2020 is centered on the zeal and commitment of photographers and videographers who are pushing the limits of content creation. An unmatched Adrenaline Junkies community has gathered behind Red Bull as a result of years of dedication, involvement and distinctive positioning. When you stop to think about it, what Red Bull has done in the past is quite similar to the idea of influencer marketing. Natural partnerships with brand advocates and activities that promote the overall brand narrative as opposed to combative mass media advertisements. Red Bull is a great example of a company that partners with well-known sportsmen from several sports, such as Max Verstappen, Marc Marquez, Neymar and Letitia Buffoni, while also showcasing remarkable players that are well-known in their respective sports. Red Bull uses a blend of micro, macro and celebrity influencers to construct a community that young people can identify with and aspire to, while also forging a strong brand identity. Customers adore companies with compelling narratives, and the Red Bull team understood this more than three decades ago. They approach their marketing initiatives through a special lens because of this, because they aren't selling energy drinks. They're promoting a lifestyle. They put an emphasis on topics their audience can connect to, rather than lengthy advertisements with an inspirational credo and brand promises. Consumers seek authenticity after all. Red Bull made the decision to use brand evangelists, students who receive free samples of the energy drink and spread the word to their community, instead of lengthy advertisements from large firms since they realized that young people frequently don't connect with them. Because students trusted those brand advocates much more than they did traditional marketing, this was a straightforward, affordable and reputable way to reach more customers. Energy beverages like Red Bull frequently contain the amino acid taurine. It's an organic substance that is also present in the human body particularly in the brain, muscles, and various organs, including the heart and liver. Taurine was first added to an energy drink, Red Bull, which helps differentiate it from competing products. Taurine is thought to promote focus and mental acuity, as well as physical performance. While there is some scientific evidence to back up these claims, further research is needed to fully comprehend how taurine affects the body. While some studies have hypothesized that it may improve physical performance, other investigations have found no appreciable advantages. 
numerous energy drink producers, like Red Bull, continue to use taurine as an ingredient despite the absence of conclusive research. Yet, taking a lot of energy drinks, which frequently have high quantities of sugar and caffeine, can have detrimental consequences on your health, like a faster heartbeat, elevated blood pressure and dehydration. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed learning about the strategies and tactics that Red Bull has been using to maintain its position as a top player in the energy drink industry. From creating a lifestyle brand to sponsoring extreme sports and events, Red Bull has demonstrated how effective marketing and branding could be in driving sales and creating a loyal customer base. So, next time you crack open a can of Red Bull, remember the fascinating behind-the-scenes business operations that have helped make it the iconic brand it is today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.